Good morning. Woo. Welcome. Welcome to graduation 2020 here at Canyonville Academy. It gives me great pleasure to welcome all of our guests today from families, parents, virtual families as we're live streaming to alumni, staff, faculty, board members, and our executive vice president, Dr. James Davis. Today is a day of celebration. After the fast and challenging pace of this last senior year, today is a day for turning back momentarily and allowing a heartfelt joy to catch up with our graduates. From the national flags that will be here in the chapel today to the last precious seconds of their time here on campus, it is an emotionally charged day for all of us. I trust that during the course of today, all of you will find a moment to think of your loved ones unable to be here, whose determined support, daily sacrifices, and dreams for our graduates' futures have guided them to this point. It is their achievement. Today, I welcome you all to celebrate with us as we celebrate our seniors' achievements. Thank you. And now we will present our Canyonville Academy staff. Lisa Bates, two years, office manager. Corey Burkert has been here for 18 years. She has taught French, music, internet marketing, SEO, and is now CEO headmaster. Evelyn Crawford, one year girls dean, with Reggie Crawford, one year boys dean and head of discipline. Rebecca Collette, one year girls dean and cook. Jim English, one year head chef. Shelly English, one year cook. Helen Fortner, art instructor. Alejandra Garcia, one year administrative assistant. Fernando Esparza, 20 years as director of finance. With Bude Esparza, 20 years as teacher and travel coordinator. Ian Garrett, five years, teaches social studies and Bible. Jeremy Gerlach, two years, head dean, soccer coach. Arthur Huang, two year, chief IT department, teaches intro to engineering, calculus and pre-calculus, basketball coach. Jessica Johns, four years te teaching English, ESL, American Culture, Art History, Visual Art, and PE. Phil Jones, 22 years, teaches biological sciences, has been a coach, has been superintendent and maintenance. Stephen Kearns, one year boys dean, campus security. Dr. John Paul Lauke, one year teacher. Sachiko Lauke, one year cook. Karen Hurain, 21 years substitute teacher. Mark Ney, three years, head of maintenance and athletic director with his wife, Amber Ney. Cameron Nutter, five years, IT hardware, social media. Marvin Opelt, one year head of maintenance. Melissa Renfro Abro, one year custodian. Roger Schaefer, 48 years, teaches religion and seminar. Don Shepard, 19 years, principal, teaches health, PE, and Bible. Jim Stenberg, 35 years, former English teacher, now study hall supervisor. Kelsey Stenberg, three years, teacher, English teacher, and accelerated learning. Charles Vincent, three years, teaches yearbook, video production, life skills, and Bible. Karen Vincent, three years, music teacher.
From Brazil, Mateus Peroni Martins. From China, Rebecca Huang. Yuna Lee. From Colombia, Juan Ruiz Penaranda. From Ethiopia, Dagam Ayalu, Muse Kidane, Alula Tadele, from Japan, Nina Hirabayashi. From Lithuania, Christina Sorokina. From Mexico, Ileana Ramos Rubio. From Rwanda, Kenny Tusa. Hervé Mucho. Robert Mujisha. Amari Nadejimana. From South Korea, Gloria Ha. Jin Kim. Yu Rei Kim. From Taiwan, Joy Xu. Leon Ku, Eric May. From the United States, Lily Allen. Malachi Bird. Claire Cup. Isabel Omis. Leo Pauline. From Vietnam, Jasmine Dong. Min Dong. Mary Nguyen. Lauren Lu. And from Colombia, Juan Ruiz Penaranda. Class of 2020, I would like to call up our Executive Vice President, Dr. James Davis, to lead us in prayer. Thank you, Corey. It is a historic day here at Canyonville Academy because when you think of all the schools across the country and around the world, many of them have not had the opportunity to have graduation like we have here today. Most of the graduations are virtual and the students are not able to participate together as a group, but we found a way to be able to provide through the guidelines to be able to make this a very special day for all the graduates. Also express appreciation from President Mum, and he's in Orlando, Florida. I don't know if you know, because of airline travel, there's, it's all fragmented. So for him to get here, it required five planes to get across the country, and then to be able to get back for preaching on Sunday and then come back next week is just 
wasn't possible, but he sends his regards as well. Let's pray. God, we do thank you for your bountiful blessings in our lives. Lord, that when we look to you and we see you as the author and finisher of our faith, we see us serving a great and mighty God that always has our best interest at heart. And Lord, for this graduation today, for these wonderful seniors, 31 graduating during this 95th anniversary of, of Canyonville Academy, Lord, we are so grateful for the opportunity to have served these students. May this be a wonderful occasion today, but also may as they embark on their next season of life be filled with prosperity and blessings every way they go. And we thank you in Christ's name. Amen. I'd like to welcome our salutatorian to give her speech, Gloria Ha. Please come on up. Good morning, everyone. It is my honor to welcome our guests, parents, family, staff, faculties, friends, and 2020 graduate seniors. I want to especially acknowledge our school president, Dr. Wei Mum, Executive Vice President, Dr. James Davis, Canville Academy Board of Directors, Head of School, Mrs. Curry Burkard, Interim Principal, Mrs. Shepard, and other distinguished guests who are here with us at this ceremony. Some of you travel a long way to Canyonville. Some of you are watching us from the other side of the world online. No matter where and how you are joining us today, thank you for being here to celebrate this significant and special occasion. For this speech, I want to write about something more personal, something speaking from my heart, rather than writing about other typical topics. I have made lifelong friends and learn exper and experience things here at Canville Academy that shaped me into the person I am today. When I first started here, I was a shy, clueless little girl from South Korea who couldn't speak a full sentence in English. I am proud and thankful that I can now successfully communicate and study in English. However, this could not have been possible without all the help that I received the past four years from great teachers, staff and friends. I also had an extraordinary opportunity in this high school to meet and live with students from many different countries who hold different cultures and philosophies. In this real multicultural environment, my understanding and appreciation of diversity have grown and deepened. Personally, this year has been challenging and overwhelming for me. I felt like I was hit continuously by difficult and hurting situations one after another. As a result, I sometimes couldn't see that I was loved and cared for by someone. However, that was not true. I realized I have received so much love, more than I even deserve, from many different people here in the last four years. I have realized there are people out there who genuinely care for me and constantly praying for me. It has been my honor and privilege to be part of Kennedy Academy for the past four years. Every single student and faculty member have made a positive impact in my life, which ultimately shaped me to become the person that I am today. Unfortunately, all the seniors have to move on now and leave CCA, but I will never forget the memories I built in this small town of Kennedyville with students from all around the world. It was a challenging year for all of us, but we managed to go through it as a family by backing each other up. I appreciate and will miss every single one of you so dearly. As I continue this journey of life, I thrive on being someone who is genuine, reading love and impacting other people's life as many people have here have shown me. I hope and challenge all the class of 2020 to do the same. 
congratulations, every seniors. We have made it. Thank you. Good morning, staff, administration, family, and friends. Over the last four years here at Caneville Christian Academy, we have learned and matured so much together with the help of those around us. Mr. Patton taught us the meaning of true leadership. Mr. Garris taught us <laughs> valuable life lessons such as life is a bumpy road and you must learn to get over yourself in order to succeed. Ms. Stimberg taught us, the, taught us about unconditional love and compassion. All of these lessons will undoubtedly be useful as we begin the next chapter of our life. For many of us seniors, when we first arrived at CCA, we would never have dreamed of all the lessons we would learn along the journey to graduation, nor did we anticipate just how fast these four years would fly by. For the few of us seniors that attended CCA since freshman year, we know how overwhelming it was to arrive on campus for the very first time. However, we were so very blessed to have been surrounded by such compassionate, compassionate and encouraging staff. Soon freshman year turned to sophomore and sophomore year turned to junior. During these years, we baked dirt desserts for pie auction and learned that homemade desserts sell for extremely high prices. We competed in Iron Chef and played in tournaments. We cheered in the stands and learned that pep rally can be extremely competitive. Most importantly, we made memories that would last a lifetime. Then came senior year. For some of us, it came too soon and for others, it couldn't have come any slower. We began the year excited and ready to finish high school. We prepped and studied for the SAT, applied for universities, and felt the weight of senioritis upon us. Then our senior year took an unexpected turn. We were forced to finish school online, we were forced to cancel JSB and our senior trip, and we were forced to be quarantined and separated from our peers. Although the end of our year, senior year was less than ideal, we persevered and here we are. We will take these memories from our senior year, coronavirus, Zoom school and all, and cherish them. On the behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to thank everyone that made this day possible. Thank you, Mrs. Shepard, Mrs. Esparza, Ms. Johns, and Ms. Stimberg for your support and guidance through these years. The compassion and kindness you have shown us will never be forgotten. Thank you, Mr. Garrett, Mr. Vincent, Mr. Jones, and Mr. Patton for the valuable lessons you have taught each one of us. Thank you, staff and faculty of Caneville Christian Academy your hard work does not go unnoticed. Without your love and sacrifice, none of us would be able to stand in this place of honor. Thank you. My fellow classmates, thank you for a wonderful year. In the years to come, all I ask is that you use the gifts that God gave you to help make this world a better place. As Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 states, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. This life will not be easy. It will be filled with times of hardship, but trust in God. He will be with you every step of the way. My classmates, may God bless you greatly. Caneville Christian Academy, class of 2020, thank you for an amazing year. Congratulations to all of our seniors. I'm here to announce the scholarships um, that our seniors earned for all their hard efforts throughout the years. Um, Lily Allen received a track and field scholarship at Umpqua Community College, paying half of her tuition. Dogham received a $9,500 scholarship from University of Toledo. Claire Cup has been granted the Umpqua Community College Scholars Award covering her full tuition. Gloria Ha was granted an $84,000 President Scholarship from Baylor University. Joy received a $2,000 from the Kaplan International Award from Arizona State University. Uray received the Denison Grant for $40,900 from Denison University. Irve received $9,800 scholarship from Grand Canyon University. Robert received a scholarship of $1,000 from West Texas A&M University. Leo received the Grand Canyon Christian School Consort Scholarship for $4,000, Dean Scholarship 
for $5,500 and the Priority Reg Award for $800. And Angelo received a scholarship for $1,000 from West Texas A&M University. So congratulations to you, our seniors, and thank you for all your effort. Next up will be Mrs. Karen Vincent to award our Musician of the Year. Good morning. I have the special privilege of awarding the Musician of the Year to a very special young lady. Um, this young lady has been a faithful pianist for chapel this year. She is very gifted in music, not only by ear, but in reading music. She is a leader in her choir section. She has the ability to learn and sing different vocal parts and harmonies. She has a natural gift for music, and she has used the gift that the Lord has given her for his purpose. She has been an, the piano accompanist for the choir, and she has an enthusiasm, a dedication, and a love for music. I am proud to give this award to you, Ray Kim. And I would like to call up Mr. Huang. I would like to also call in group A of all the graduates. Please come in to the auditorium. Group A. In this very special day, I have the privilege to actually um, announce the senior boys and girls assets of the year. So. Uh, singing voice assist of the year will be Leon Cool. So in soccer, Leon has been a starter on defense for the two years he has attended Canville Academy. This year he was team captain in the honorable mention O League. In varsity basketball, he has been a starter for the past two years. This year he was captain and selected as all conference honorable mention. He also was voted homecoming sports prince and become the 2020 homecoming king. Congratulations, Leon. Senior Girl Assets of the Year, Lily Allen. Lily has placed the first or second in a race 65 times uh, throughout her high school career. She was MVP for track her sophomore and junior year. Lily is a four-time district champion and the two-time district runner-up. She has placed five times at state receiving fourth place finish three times. Um, her personal record of 26.66 seconds in the 200 meter is the third fastest time ever in the school. And her time of 60.47 in the 400 meter is the third fastest time run in the school as well. While Lily was not able to compete in track her senior year, she has been uh, diligently training and on track to set more personal records. She will be attending Unqua Community College with a scholarship in track. Congratulations, Lily. To come into the chapel. We have Lily Allen. Dogum Ayalo. Claire Cup. Jasmine Dong. 
Gloria Huff. Yu Ray Kim. Leon Ku. Mary Nguyen. Matthews Peroni. At this time, we have a special presentation by the worship team.
Good morning. Today I have the pleasure of introducing our Canyonville Academy 2020 speaker. Good morning. Today I have the pleasure of introducing our Canyonville Academy 2020 speaker. Let me tell you a little bit about this young man. He is a graduate from Canyonville Academy. He graduated back in 2004. This young man actually came here from overseas and spoke not one word of English. His original goal was to become an all-star basketball player. Richard then realized the importance of how speaking English could improve his life and the life of others by providing economic mobility. This young man has since become a lifelong learner attending colleges and universities. He has been vice president of the digital marketing and e-commerce company at Trupanion and worked at Boeing Company as chief of staff. He's also worked as chief strategy analyst and product manager. Richard also just graduated from MIT. May I introduce to you Richard Wang, originally of Dalian, China, Class of 2004, Canyonville Academy graduate and CEO and President of Coding Dojo. Please welcome Richard as he shares some of his life skills with you today. Dear graduates, congratulations to you, Class of 2020. You made it. I see there are 31 of you from 12 different countries. I want to acknowledge you for the hard work that you have done to get here. All of the things we know and all of the things that we don't know behind the scenes that you have to do. This is a big milestone in your life. Something you should celebrate and cherish. Additionally, I know for myself and my family, they sacrificed everything to send me here to the United States when I was 13 years old. So I also want to congratulate and send my gratitude to your parents for all the sacrifice they made to get you here. In life, we don't get to places by ourselves. We get to places and achieve things because of people around us. So you should give them a round of applause. I arrived at CCA in 2000, and I can't believe that was 20 years ago. I was sitting here where you're at back in 2014. Time sure flies. When I was first here, I couldn't speak a word of English. And I was the first student from mainland China. So I had no one here that could help me to translate. Because of the caring community here at CCA, I was able to speak and communicate under just three months. It was a lot of trail and air for me, but there was plenty of support from the friendly staff and friends I made. Because of the small and inclusive community of CCA, I got to participate in many activities, such as basketball, cross country, which I still don't like until today. I'm sorry, Mr. Schaefer, uh, and track and field. The inclusive environment allowed me to have an opportunity to lead teams and have the play time. I loved basketball. That's why for me, I dedicated my four, four years at CCA to it. You know, being playing on the team and leading the team, this really built my confidence as a youth. I believe something you guys would agree with me is that CCA, it's, it's like a family. The friends and friendship you made inside and outside of the classroom will last for a lifetime. For me, it was my senior year, I realized that I had to move on from this community that I call family to the next phase of my life, which is college, like many of you are today. There I am during the weekday afternoon, the college advisor at the time gave me a book called the Princeton Review, which is the ICT prep book. Being the first generation of my family that went to college and first generation of my family that comes to the U.S., I had no prior knowledge of this thing called the ICT, nor I, I did any prep study for it. So when I took the first test after studying for three weeks, I got 800 out of 1,600 which is a half of the score. People told me you're only students always score higher in the second round, so I took it again. And guess what? I got 760. So it was clear to me that this is not going to get a score that I wanted. 
with that with that score of 800, I got rejected in every single college that I applied to. Uh, but Central Washington University at the time uh, gave me a chance. They accept me on a conditional basis, meaning if my grades are not good, they have the right to immediately kick me out. With really not that many choices to me, uh, I ended up at Central. My first quarter GPA was 1.7. That was a D average just to be blocked. You know, I did my one-on-one with my admission director. It was clear that um, I don't have the, if I don't get the GPA up, I would get kicked out. You know, I played professional basketball back in China when I was, when I was 11. I don't give up easy. In my head, I told myself that, you know, now the basketball core of my life is no longer in the gym, but it's in the classroom. It was a wake-up call that I needed. With that change of mindset, my dedication to schoolwork, my GPA went to 3.9 by the time I graduated. And then I went on to Stanford in my executive education, and then now I just graduated from MIT with my master's degree. So in my life so far, I have accomplished all the goals that I set myself out to accomplish. Being a corporate executive, being a CEO, attend a top 10 business school, and start a family. So there are three lessons I learned throughout my failures, trail, and error in life. I would like to pass it on to you. Try it out, see if it fits you. The first is that, you know, your life is not where you start, but where you finish. I come here from China. The United States, in my opinion, is one of the greatest countries on this planet. As long as you are committed and dedicated, the opportunity will be there. I and rem remember, luck is preparation meets opportunity. We may not get a card that we want in our hands, but that is okay. Because again, it's not where you start, but where you end up. If a person like me, who can score 800 out of 1,600 ICT, that got rejected from all the colleges that I applied to, can get here in life. You are far off better than I am. You guys should and will achieve much more than I do. So don't worry about the starting line, but focus on where you want to finish. Second, the only thing that will make a difference and impact is take action. If you want to see a difference, see a different result, don't complain. Things don't get hard. That's just how you're supposed to be. But take action. Action is the only thing that will make a difference. I would like to read a quote to you. And he says, it is important that you get clear for yourself that the only access to impacting life is action. The world does not care what we intend, how committed we are, how we feel, how we think. And he certainly has no interest in what we want and don't want. See for yourself that the world only moves for you when you act. So take action and be the cause of your life. The third lesson here is that if it's not you, who? If it's not now, when? At MIT, we have a thing called T equals to zero. T equals to zero, which means the time is now. You are it. You are the change that we've been waiting for. And you are the change that you've been waiting for. Why not you? You know, scientists said the probability to be a human being on this planet is one in 400 billion. You have won this lottery already. Don't waste this human experience. Cherish it. And who are you not to be great? My wish for you moving forward is this. The world needs you more than ever right now. We're at a time of convergence. You are in the midst as we cross the chasm for the fourth industrial revolution, which is the digital economy, artificial intelligence, 
machine learning, robotics, and bioscience, and many other things. We also face some of the worst challenges that the human race have ever been faced before, such as climate change and income inequality. I would challenge you to not think on what you just want to accomplish in life, but to think what problem do you want to solve? Superman Batman is not going to come here and save us. The world needs you, and we need you. So go out there and make a difference. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you.
starting with Lily Allen. Hi, my name is Lily Allen, and this is Mason Lee Leonard. There are many people who contributed to my three years at Canyonville Christian Academy. I am grateful for the guidance and kindness they showed me. There are a special few that I would like to address in this letter. Thank you, Mr. Patton, for your support and dad jokes, and for always reminding me that O'Doyle rules. Thank you, Mr. Jones, for teaching me so much about science and real life. I am grateful for the wisdom you shared. Your awesome excitement to skin and dissect a bear's head matched my own. Thank you, Mrs. Jones, for always having a loving smile and for keeping Mr. Jones on his toes. Thank you, Ms. Jones, for your encouragement and abundant support during my track meetings, especially at the state meetings. Your calm and gentle spirit gave me the confidence to perform my best. Thank you, Ms. Stenberg, for putting us with putting up with us AP English students for a whole year. Your wisdom and love for God inspired me and kept me looking forward. Thank you, Mr. Nutter, for our long discussions on philosophy, life, and faith. Your class was a blessing. Thank you, Mrs. Shepard, for getting me through senior year. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. English, for helping me develop a strong work ethic and making my job more fun. Thank you, Mrs. Bates, for always being there when I needed someone and for reminding me to turn things in on time. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for always keeping it real. And Claire Bear, I love you. Hello everyone, my name is Daga Mayale. I came from Ethiopia. This is my second year in Cannibal Academy. Coming here was one of the best decisions in my life. Cannibal Academy has made me a very Christian. Here I learned a lot, grew and made everlasting friendship. I first want to thank God for bringing me here and changing my life. I want to thank my parents, my family for always being supportive and helping me when times were hard. I want to thank my friends here at Cannibal Academy for making me a better person. You guys are the best. I would like to also thank the faculties for guiding me and showing me the right, the right way to do things. Lastly, I would like to say congratulations. Dear staff, administration, family, and friends, I would like to start by thanking God for giving me all that I have and my parents for giving me the amazing opportunity to attend Canyonville Christian Academy. Without their love and support, I would be nowhere near where I am today. I would also like to show my gratitude to all the people who encouraged me throughout my four years at CCA. Thank you, Mrs. Esparza, for teaching me that learning new things can be difficult yet rewarding. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, for always being an example of compassion and kindness. Thank you, Ms. Stenberg, for showing me unconditional love despite my struggles. Thank you, Mr. Patton, for not only teaching me what a true leader should be, but setting an example. And thank you, Mr. Garrett, for teaching me that life is a bumpy road and you must get over yourself in order to succeed. Finally, I would like to thank my older sister, Grace, for setting my academic expectations so high. You were and still are my motivation to continue to aim high and achieve high academic standing. Sincerely, Claire. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jasmine Dang. My Vietnamese name is Dang Le Mi Khan, and I come from Vietnam. And this day has come, the day that every senior has been waiting for. The moment that we had to say goodbye to Kenyonville Academy and the staff and the students. This is my third year in Kenyonville Academy. The place has brought me the feeling that I cannot explain, but I know that has a special place in my heart. I thought being an international student was going to be hard, but here at Canyonville Academy, I didn't find any difficulties. All the staff and the students are so kind to me, and they would do their best to help us overcome every situation. I want to say a special thanks to Miss Bates, she is the most amazing person that I have ever met. She is a strict person when she does her work, but when she talks to us, she is like the so, so sweet. It is hard to say goodbye to you, so I would rather say see you again. Thank you for everything that you have done for us and wish you all the best. And one of my favorite teachers is Miss Espresso. Thank you all for always listening to our opinion. I love to listen when you're sharing your stories with us. You are the best teacher that I have ever met. Last but not least is my friends and my parents. Thank you all for making my life better. I want to know that you are the blessing for me. Canyonville Academy may not the best place in the world, but it will be the best place in my heart. Thank you for listening. Today is the last day of high school. Today is the last day of high school for us seniors. Today we'll say goodbye to many teachers and staff members who have taught us and guided us. 
friends who have become our families, and the places that provided us beautiful memories. Today, we'll close up one of our chapters in life to start another one. At this moment, many thoughts and emotions come across my mind. First of all, I am very proud of myself and our classmates who have worked so hard to reach this point. I want us to remember this is just merely a starting point of our journeys. So let, let's be excited to witness all the amazing things that God hold for us in the future. Despite the season of our life coming to an end, there's always hope for our new beginnings. So let us not drop our heads and settle for less. I am also very sad knowing that this will be the last chance for me to see many of you here. Thank you to every single one of you for adding colorful memory to my life and making my last few years as teenagers special. Thank you to all the teachers who have taught English and inherited valuable knowledge. I want to especially thank Mr. Jones for always encouraging and providing me the chance to discover what I'm interested in. Thank you to all the staff members who have served even when we didn't notice. Thank you to all of my friends. Although I'm not naming names, I expect you to know who I'm talking about. <laughs> who have taught me how to love, forgive, cry, laugh, be silly, and be there for each other. I love you guys very much and you all will always have a special place in my heart. Lastly, I want to thank my family who have always believed in me more than I believe in myself and be my biggest supporters. Hello, this is Yuri Kim and I'm from South Korea. Thank you all for coming to the graduation to see us putting the last period to the last page, the last sentence of our four years of high school. We are going to start writing more and more pages as we go on. My junior and senior years were so special because I got to spend it here at Canterville Academy. I cannot explain how much I'm thankful for God and for these people that I've met. First of all, I want to thank Mr. Schaefer to, for two years of seminar class, teaching us art, movies, music, business, stock market, and more subjects in depth. Mr. Garrett, I truly enjoyed being in your government, economics, and Bible class with your funny jokes that always took three minutes for me to fully understand. Mr. Huang, thank you for never giving up on teaching all these AP classes to us. We appreciate you for having patience with us when we try to learn. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Crawford, Mr. and Mrs. Pippin, Ms. Collette, Mrs. Vincent, Mr. Kearns, Mr. Gerlach, for keeping us safe and being our dorm mom and dad. Yep, <laughs> yeah, fine. this is okay. Mrs. Vincent, thank you so much for offering us precious time to gather around as a devotion group in the morning. Rebecca, Jay, Shasha, and Jennifer, thank you so much for joining the prayer time and noticing when, when each other are going through hard times. It was such a precious time to start the day by sharing what's in our mind and pray about it, fully trusting in God. I believe that God has brought me here, brought these amazing people in my life, and He's always present for all of us. I'm so thankful that I got to realize that here. I will never be able to forget people that I've met, and it is really hard to say goodbye. I adore each one of these students in this place, and I'm incredibly thankful for teachers who guided me through. Plus, to Mrs. Berker and Mrs. Bates, I will never forget the nickname, you ray of sunshine, thank you for being a ray of sunshine in my Hello everyone, my name is Leon Ku, and I'm from Taipei, Taiwan. First, I want to thank my parents for giving up so much just to provide me with the chance to study abroad. I just want to tell you guys that I made it and I love you. Second, I want to thank the teachers and deans. Thank you guys so much for teaching me and taking care of me. Special thanks to Mr. Huang the men that helped me set up my goals and encourages me when I'm down. I would not have reached today's achievements without you. Last, I want to thank my friends. Man, I'm going to miss you guys so much. All the terrible things we have done in the dorms are going to be my lifetime memories. I want to give special thanks to John. John, you may be a terrible friend sometimes, but the way you chase your dreams and so friendly to everyone encourages me so much. It has been an honor to be your friend and teammate. Seniors, I know it has been a tough year, but we all have made it. Wish you all a successful future. Peace out. My name is Mary. It has been two and a half years. I've been, I have been studying at Canyon View Academy. I only have a little time left to see my friends and my teacher that come from many different places that I met here. 
time flies so fast. I still remember the day that I first came to Canyon View Academy and the financial difficult that I encountered. I am now a senior and preparing to say goodbye to everyone here. I feel sad and regretful about leaving Canyon View Academy because it has given me so many beautiful memories. For the last, I hope Osina will succeed on the path they have chosen. Thank you. This year has been very special for me because it was the first time that I left my country to go study in a different one. In the beginning, I was very nervous because it had no idea what to expect for this new experience in my life. When I arrived here in Canyonville Academy, all the teachers and students have made me feel comfortable and helped me to feel safe. I am very thankful for all the teachers that supported me and helped me through my hard moments in my senior year. I am also very thankful for all the friends that I made here and that I will keep for my entire life. Lily Allen. Dagam Ayalu. Claire Cup. Jasmine Dong. Gloria Ha. Yure Kim. Leon Ku Mary Wynn Mateus Peroni Martins. And now we will be calling in Group B seniors, Malachi Bird. Min Dong. Mina Hirabayashi. Rebecca Huang. Muse Kidane. Yuna Lee. Eric Meg. 
Merve Mucho. Leo Pauline. Christina Sorokina. And now we will be playing the senior letter videos. My last two years Bert. here have been interesting, to my say the least. I have had to adjust to an entirely new environment, different from what I have experienced my entire life. New people, new culture. When I came here, I didn't just switch schools, I switched lifestyles. I met my grade goals and kept out of trouble whenever I could. But sometimes hunger just calls. You know what we say. Uh, I understand and appreciate the people I have met here for helping me to mature and learn about all the different cultures here at this school. I thank the school for helping me to become more independent and responsible. I thank the weight room boys for keeping my gains consistent. I want to give a special thanks to Isabel for bringing me up when I was down and just being a friend to me whenever I needed it. I want to thank all the family members who supported me up to this point, even the ones that aren't here. I'd like to thank Josh for teaching me lessons and supporting me and my mom. I'd like to thank my granny for being so loving and caring. She saved me from deserved punishment more than a few times. I'd like to thank my Titi for being real with me throughout my life and helping me to mature. Most of all, I want to thank my mom for being so supportive, nurturing, and helpful in my life. She is my caretaker, my friend, and my safety net to fall back onto. She is truly ama an amazing woman. I love you. Thank you for everything. Hi, my name is Min. I'm from Vietnam. So, it has been a year since I started studying and living here. It has been an enjoyable experience. I feel fortunate to have met many friends from all over the world at this school. They are very kind. They have helped me a lot in studying as well as giving me, giving me more knowledge about other cultures. I want to send my dearest friends to my beloved enemy's friends. I hope after living here, not knowing what future plans are going, but to be like, but I hope we will always be a good friends. Moreover, I want to thank all the teachers, deans, and staff. They are very kind and good. They help me a lot with my education, my character, and my lifestyles. Although the COVID-19 pandemic occurred in my senior year, I feel kind of interesting because it was so safe here in Cambridge Academy, and studying online was a great experience. Finally, I hope that all seniors will get into the university and college that they want and strive for every day. I wish all the teachers, the deans, and the staff will always be a good help to continue this novel work. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nina Hirabashi. I came to Canyon View Academy in 2017. This is my third year and finally I graduate today. I cannot believe it's time to say goodbye to everyone. My first year was the hardest for me. At first, I couldn't speak English fluently. I couldn't understand anything in class and had a lot of difficult projects and homeworks. My friends and teachers helped me a lot. I improved my English and learned the importance of accomplishing it. I've had a lot of new experiences during my three years here. Especially this year, I had the most fun memories. I feel that the time has passed so quickly. I really enjoyed cooking, doing homework and studying, hanging out with my friends every day. Thank you to everyone who listened to me when I was worried and made me smile. I will never forget the experiences and the memories that I've had at Canyonville Academy and the fact that I met you all. Thank you for what you've done for me. I hope I can see you guys again. Hi, this is Rebecca Senior Letter. I don't remember how many times I have imagined standing on the stage with other seniors. Saying goodbye seems impossible at this point, but today is the day to say goodbye to three years of my high school life. All the memories from here mean a lot to me. Every single one of you have been a part of it. I'm thankful that I got to spend the most important part of my life in Canada Academy. First, I want to thank God for letting me be my parents' child. Thank you for always being my strong child. 
Second, I would like to say a special thank you to my teachers and friends, to Mr. Pardon, for always solving my problems and using your action to tell me have a perseverance in the time when we are facing difficulties. To Mrs. Kaslan for always crediting my grammatical mistake over again and again. I miss the time that I spent with you. To Miss Jones for everything, especially when I stuck on my English homework and writing, you always give me a su suggestion and direction. To Mrs. Shepherd, your class here is the most I have taken. You always came to me in your classroom. I feel like I'm, I will stay in my home. I cannot describe my feeling to you. I just always want to stay with you. To Mrs. Winston, thank you for spending Thursday morning every week with five girls. The time that I have spent with you is an influential mark in my life. To Mr. Gary for never closing the door to help us stay awake. Thank you for your humorous and the funny jokes. It is a good way to start my day. To my DD and the Mamis for always bring happiness to me and uh, dealing with my craziness. Mamis, I cannot describe in words how much I love you guys. I'm so lucky to have met you. Keep smiling every day. Don't stress over classwork. And when you are outside, always call me. I will always be with you. Guys, by phone. I will miss you all so much. See you guys later. Now goodbye. Whenever you guys want to with China, no matter what city you are in, don't try to hide from me. I will find you. Okay, now to be serious. Remember that you always have a family who is waiting for you. See you guys in China in future. Three years ago, I would have never imagined my life the way it turned out. On September 2, 2017, I arrived in Canada, hoping I would go back home to Ethiopia because I was scared of this new life. This place has taught me so much about loving one another and the value of friends. Even though I had a bumpy road throughout my years in CA, I still learned from my failures and mistakes. I am glad that I don't regret my time here, and I'm happy I spent my time here the way I did. I have met so many great people in this school who I'm very grateful for. Thank you for, thank you, Sami, Elijah, Sabina for making my first year entertaining. Thank you, Fred, for giving, for getting me out of trouble so many times. Thank you, Alula, Raya, Dagam, for making this place feel like home. Thank you, Kenny, John, Robert, Angelo, Benny, and Malachi for making the last two years in my high school the best I could ask for. Shout out to Wante, Amohi, and Ove for sticking with me all throughout my years in Canada Academy. I am very grateful for having friends like you. I want to give a special thanks to my mom, the hardest working person I know, my uncle, who's the wisest person in the world, and the last but not least, Miss Shepherd, the kindest and uh, constant caring teacher I will ever meet. Thank you guys for helping me get through high school. For all my seniors, good luck with your journey, follow your dreams, and work hard for your, work hard for them. Be passionate about what you do and strive to be successful. I hope you guys all the best. Hi, my name is Yuna Lee. This is my third year in the United States. I came to Canada with Danmi in 2018, which my junior year. It was totally different from my old school. I did not have much change to get to know my foreign classmates and speak English. But here, I feel like I'm just changing the country talking with my Chinese classmates. Here, the teacher and classmates are very friendly. They are so happy to help me. When I came to Canada with that way, I start to change a lot. I'm beginning to try to speak more English and make more friends. I'm not afraid to speak English. I'm also grateful my teacher and classmates are ignoring me. Time is past. I feel like just yesterday I arrived here, but today I'm going to graduate. Hello, everyone. I'm Eric, and I have been here for three years. I have a lot of memories of this place. Here at Canville Academy, I met a lot of amazing people, and I have met many good friends. They helped me grow and learn so many important life lessons. I also learned how to be independent 
and reach my goals. This year, I finally accomplished what I, what my ultimate goal of study here was. I successfully received the offer from the college I want to go to. From the beginning until the end, when I accomplished this goal, I, I received a lot of help from people surround me. First, I want to say thanks to my family. They are the biggest support to me, even when we are not together now. Second, I want to say thanks to my teachers and friends. They provided me with many suggestions and gave me their op opinions when I struggled. Thanks to everyone who was there for me and helped me to start the new journey in my life. Hi, my name is Zalvi Mucho and I'm born from Rwanda. I've been studying here for the past three years. This was definitely one of the best decisions I ever took. First of all, I want to thank God for bringing me here and showing me new friends, new teachers, and a new environment. I also want to thank my parents because without them, I would not be here. All the hard work is de has definitely paid off. I also want to thank my brothers and my sister because they helped me a lot throughout this year. Whenever I needed them, they were there. And I hope that I see some of the faces that I see today in the future. And uh, I want to thank all of my friends because without them, they really brought me up when I was down and we shared a lot of laughs and tears. And I want to thank God because without God, I would not have reached here for sure. We have finally made it, class of 2020. God bless. Hello, my name is Leo Pauline, and I'm from the Dallas, Oregon. And now that I am 17, graduating, and ready for college, I look back to see how much I have grown as a person. Thank you for all those who have helped me along this journey. I want to thank Helen Fortner for being there and helping me grow as a person. Thank you to all my teachers I have had over the years, especially Mr. Schaefer, Ms. Stenberg, and Ola, Mrs. Esparza. You all taught me well, and I learned lots. Thank you to my family, my mom, my dad, my Aunt Linda, my Uncle Ted, and my cousin Sherry for supporting me and helping me grow throughout my childhood. Lastly, I'd like to thank all my friends I've had throughout high school, especially Helena, Matthews, and Shasha. You guys all made my day brighter each and every day. Please keep growing and being the great people that you are. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sorokina Kristina Yuevna. I'm from Europe, Lithuania. This is my second year at Kennedy Academy, and finally today I can probably say that I finished high school. There was a long and hard two years of my life that I had been through. It was not easy at all, and it seems to me that time will never end. But in the blink of an eye, I'm already standing here in front of you. I remember how on the first day of my arrival, my hands were shaking because I didn't know the language at all. Being the only Russian-speaking student, I was so afraid that no one would want to understand me. But all of you continued to help me and explain every word. Thus, in just a couple of months, I was able to learn the language, for which I'm very grateful to Mrs. Kessler. There was so much good and bad, so many ups and downs. But Mrs. Esparza, you were always with me. When I wanted to give up, you continued to say, I can do anything. My, I'm grateful to the Lord for everything that He has done through you in my life. This year, Miss Jones believed in me more than I did. She, was al she always believed when I could not. I cannot describe words how much you mean to me, not only as a teacher, but also as a friend. I want to say thank you to Mrs. Vincent for how much you have done for us. Um, Mrs. Shepard, you're like a ray of light to me at this school. And so it was always like that. I walked, stumbled, and everyone around me helped me to get up and move on. In all this, I see how much God worked on my heart through all the experience that I received here at school, which helped me instill a life of learning and knowledge. And now my question is, what's next? Uh, we don't know what's await us next. And now I see how at this important time we need to climb uh, to God with all our hands. 
Life is goes on, both explodes, fails and takes off, and we cannot do it alone. I do not want to say goodbye, because this is not the end. And now it is time to present diplomas. Malachi Bird. <laughs> Min Dong. Mina Hirabayashi. Rebecca Huang. Muse Kidane <laughs> Yuna Lee. Eric May Hervé Mucho Leo Pauline Christina Sorokina Now we would like to call in our last group of seniors, Group C. Kenny Sousa. Joy Shu. Jin Kim. Robert Mujisha. Amari Nadejimana Isabel Ometh Cozy Ramos Juan Ruiz Alula Cadele Lauren Vu And now we will be presenting senior letters. Kenny Tsusa. This is my second year in Kenya. This is my second Academy. year in Kenya. For the two years of being here, I've had a lot of good times. Last year was the best year for me. It was the year I met all my friends. Coming here to Kenya Academy was good. It was a good thing. I came here without knowing what to expect. I was scared. 
I could not even speak a word of English. This school has helped me improve my English way beyond my expectations. So far, this year has changed a lot, mostly in rules, but we still have fun. I would like to thank my family and all my friends that supported me mentally and physically. Thank you. Dear senior staff, families, and everyone here today, my name is Joy Xu. Thank you all for coming to celebrate this special day with us, not just as friends, but also as one big family. In the past three years, whenever a class is graduating from Kenoville Academy as an underclassman, I could not help but wonder why they seem so eager to leave. However, time flies, and now I am experiencing all the similar mass feelings. It's hard to imagine this day has finally come as a milestone of high school life. I can hardly find words to express how excited and grateful I am to meet those beautiful people in CA with love, hope, and happiness. I would like to take this moment to thank those people who have encouraged me to have made me who I am today. First, I would like to thank my parents and my older sister. They have been my support through the good and bad times. Second, I would like to thank the staff members that have helped me. Mr. Patton, thank you for always being a happy man when you were here. To Mrs. Espasa, thank you for being such a good influence on me in last year Bible class. To the Vincents, thank you for creating lots of family memory and merriment that will last forever. To Mrs. Pippin, thank you for always be the bright light to me, to remind me of my self warm. Thank you for being our girls team and basketball coach with great support and making my life colorful. To the Joneses, our sweet grandparent in school, Thank you for always making me have a smiling face and bring warmness into my heart, teaching me to recognize gratitude and the meaning of helping others. To Mr. Huang, thank you for being such a wonderful friend and a teacher, even though I didn't expect to take your physics class at the beginning of the year. I'm still glad that I have this chance to get to you know what and have lots of fun time. And to the friends who have always been there, Kelly, Jennifer, Rebecca, Jay, Yure, and Shasha. I appreciate the times when we will sit around and talk about random nonsense. Last but not least, I'm so grateful to meet each, uh, each one of you in my life. It's the hardest goodbye. All the memory we have here will never fade away and turn the power to push forward to the future. I love you all. Please have joy in your heart. I also will be there for you. See you in the future, my friends. Hope you have a great new year with happiness. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jin Kim. It feels like yesterday I came arrived to Kenry Academy. I cannot believe that it has already been almost a year and I'm graduating. After coming here, I have met a lot of good friends and have made a lot of happy memories. I would like to thank all of you and the teachers for giving me a forgettable memories and it was really a blessing when everyone goes to college lives their own lives and goes their own way i hope everyone remembers their memories of caring the academy as happy moments goodbye thank you there is one thing i have noticed through my whole life everything has an end as much as i've dreamed about this day it finally come to the end i cannot believe i graduated wow I want to thank everybody who helped me to get here. Special, special thanks to all my students who were there for me in these last few years. I want to thank my family for, the, for what they have done for me. They made my dream come true, to come to America. They kept their promise to take care of me, and they were there for me every moment, worse or better. And I'm glad to have them. I'm very thankful for all staff members, deans, for what they have done for they have done for me, they, what they have taught me, and put me on the right track. Thank you. Hello, my name is Amor Indagijimana. I'm from Rwanda. I'm 17 year old. Coming to CCI has been by far one of the funnest experiences in my life and the best decision that I've ever made. I came here as a teenager, so you might have an idea of how hard the transition war for me was for me. 
but I'm so grateful that I got the chance to transition back into a family-like environment here at CCA. I will forever be grateful for CCA and what he has done in my life. Here I grew into a man that my parents are really proud of, and most importantly, I learned how to value God and life more. At CCA, I met a, mi a mix of people from different ethnicities, and we all came together to form a big family. With this family, we made a numerous amount of memorable memories that are forever engraved in my memory. To all my CCA friends, I promise to not forget you guys. You can always count on me for anything. I'll always be there to help. But all, all this joy and growth would have, would have not been possible without the kind and loving parents that I have. I thank the Lord every day for blessing me with supportive parents that love me and are always wishing the best for me. I also would like to thank the staff and faculty at CCA for the three years of impeccable service that they offered to all the students at CCA. And lastly, CCA is forever my happy place. Thank you. Hello, family and friends. My name is Isabel Olmos, and I'm from the U.S., and I live in the state of Washington. I've been at Canyonville Academy for three years total, and it's been a ride. <clears throat> I've had many adventures with this school, and I will never forget going here. I'd like to say thank you to the following people for impacting my life and helping me grow as an individual. Firstly, thank you to my parents and family, and thank you for giving me a chance to go and find out more about myself in such a unique way. Thank you for loving me and having patience with me, even at my shortcomings. I love you guys so much. Thank you to Helen Fortner for being such a dear friend and a spiritual mentor, as well as an art teacher to me. I love you so much, and I will cherish our time together. Thank you, Ms. Stenberg, for being someone that I consider like an aunt. Thank you for always investing in me and pushing me to learn more about God and outpour my art and writing in a way I didn't know I could. <clears throat> also, thank you to Mrs. Nutter for allowing me to work in a business setting and getting to learn more about working well and being diligent in everything I do. Um, I appreciate you always being a friend and for checking up on me just when I seemed out of sorts. It meant a lot to me. And lastly, I'd like to say thank you to Mrs. Esparza for having incredible patience with me when it came to algebra, and I know I wasn't always the most enthusiastic about finding X. I'm about to end this chapter of my life and enter a new one. To the class of 2020, we've gone through a lot, but, but we finally made it here. Let us graduate well, and I hope you all have successful futures. After 12 years, I finally did it. I graduated high school. After many sleepless nights and essay after essay, we have all made it even in the midst of a pandemic. We have surpassed plenty of challenges and achieved numerous goals. Nonetheless, we have not done this alone. First of all, I would like to thank God for his abundance of love and patience towards me. Through the rises and falls, he has held my hand and guided me through the path he has set out for me. I have felt his goodness through the people he has surrounded me with. To my parents, thank you. Um, you, ha you have always supported my decisions and loved me through it all. I am honored to be your daughter and proud that you're my parents. Thank you for your patience and for all your unconditional love. Mom and Darn, of all my friends and teachers I have had in my life, you both have been the best. Thank you. To all my teachers, thank you. You have given me the tools to grow and be a better person. Thank you for your time and efforts. The love and patience you have given me has been immensely valuable to me. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. To all the staff, thank you. Even though we don't always recognize your hard work, you are behind all our achievements. Your work has been of most importance throughout our journey. Last but not least, to all my friends, thank you for all the memories I have gained with you. They are incomparable. I will remember and cherish you all. There's a long way ahead of us, but we've already come this far. Hi, my name is Juan Ruiz. I was born in Colombia. These four years have been a roller coaster for me. I've had uh, low and high moments throughout this journey of my of mine. Year after year, I saw my friends graduate, and now it's my turn. I want to first thank my parents for all their hard work, because without them, I would not be here. I also want to thank my friends for all the tears and loves we had together. Uh, class of 2020, this is our year. Hello, my name is Alula Tajala. I'm from Ethiopia and I'm 19. On this day, I would like to thank each and every person that helped me get where I am today. 
First of all, I would like to thank God, our Father. I love you. Second, my parents. Thank you so much for giving me what you never had. Dad, you're my hero. I would like to thank my brothers, Tadasa, Baso, Miki, and lastly, my younger brother, Nathan. I love you all. This part, co this part goes to families in school. First of all, I would like to thank Mr. Schaefer for the infinite knowledge he gave me. You are a very wise and intelligent person. You see things from different perspectives and this is quite amazing. Although we have not been able to agree on some areas, I have been able to see things from a completely different view. Second, Mr. Gary. You are cool, smart and very funny. The only reason I did not fall asleep in the first period was because of your jokes. And thank you to Ms. Mrs. Esparza, Ms. Jones and all other staff members. And the last one goes out to my friends. Dagam and Raya, I have known you for a while, so I'm just going to say I love you guys for being there for me. To the friends I made here in Canneville Academy. I had, a, I had a hard time at first being able to get to know everyone, but later on we became really close. Some of you taught me lessons that are really helpful in my life, and I hope I did. I will list, of, I will list some of you out. Amari, Muse, Kenny, Arve, and Juanse. I love you guys so much, and I wish you all the best. Canyonville Academy, I'll miss you. Dear parents, staff, teachers, and friends, I cannot believe that I have been in Canyonville Academy for two and a half years, and now I have to say goodbye to all of you, the ones who are like family to me. Today is a special day celebrating the class of 2019 and 2020. This is an opportunity for me to say thanks to all the people who have loved me and helped me throughout the school years and made me feel at home. First, I would like to say thanks to my parents and sister for always being there for me and encouraging me. Even though we are far from each other, I can still feel their love. You guys mean a lot to me and I love you all so much. I silently thank God for bringing me this wonderful family. Second, I would like to thank all the staff members who have been working very hard to make sure everything is fine and try to bring us the best. To Mrs. Bates, I was your TI in the office and you were nice to me. I am thankful I have a chance to get to know you. Third, I would like to thank all the teachers. You are all my favorite and I appreciate all of you for teaching me and all ready to help me whenever I need. Especially to Mrs. Shepherd, I had all of your classes since I first came here and I have a lot of memories with you that I will not forget. You were so good to me, you made me feel comfortable and energetic when I saw you. Blessed, I would like to thank all of my friends for being great. We have many memories together and now let's celebrate this special day together. It is sad to not see each other again but let's be delighted because we finally made it. We are truly done with high school. Canyonville Academy has changed me a lot. I am more independent and confident than before. I learned a lot of things in this school and this is one of my favorite experiences in life. Hello, my name is Shasha An, and I'm so blessed to graduate from Canyonville Academy. Um, I have met amazing teachers and students here. Everyone helped me a lot, but in my senior letter, I want to thank Mr. Schaefer, who has helped me grow up the most. Almost on the same day last year, you said that I am a great person who can achieve whatever I decide to do in my life. No one, my parents, even myself, was trusting me before you. I have always doubted myself and was living under pressure. However, that day you changed my life. 
After that day, I could trust myself and make any goal and act to achieve my goal. If you were not my teacher, many things would have been so different. I love to learn about your secret of life, class materials, and thoughts, which impressed me and changed my life. Now, I have a new goal in my life. That is to become a noble person like you. Sometimes I blame myself for not being as good as you. However, I still have decades to catch you up. You're the first hero in my life and I admire you more than my parents. Also, you're the third person I can probably trust. I don't know how you think about me, but I think you as my first soulmate in my life. I thank God every day to meet a person like you. Your existence is my strength, and I hope you won't be bothered by me when I try to call you. Thank you so much. My name is Angel Twagiru Mkiza. I'm from Rwanda, and this is my second and last year at Kenyaville Academy. I'm very thankful for everything that I learned at KMV Academy, which is not only about classes, but also about my social and athletic life. I want to thank all the staff, especially the teachers and dance. They managed to get me on the right track. I can now find enough words to thank you. Special thanks to Armory, Kenny, Robert, Irve, Dagum, Penny, Alula, Gloria, Raya, Juan, and Muse for giving me the friendship and spending so much time with me. I also want to thank Leon for being the best roommate I could have heard for my first year. I really appreciate you. Most importantly, I want to thank my whole family, both my parents who have been making sure that I do not miss anything, and my siblings who have kept an eye on me this whole time. I also want to thank Helena. She's always been there for me, and being around her makes me very happy. Last but not least, I want to thank all the students for being great people to hang out with. All in all, I'm glad that I've been here these last two years and thankful for everything that I learned. Thank you all. Joy Chi. Jin Kim. Robert Mujisha. Amari Nazajimana. Isabel Omez. <laughs> Ileana Ramos Rubio. Juan Ruiz Peneranda. <laughs> Alula Tadale.
Lauren Vu. And now we will have a closing prayer.